Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install HMail Server on Windows Server. Go to hmailserver.com and you want to click download right up there. And then you want to download this file right here and you'll be under away. Just wait for that to download. It shouldn't take too much time at all. So you want to just double click the install, run it, then click, click next. Then you want to accept the license agreement, install it to somewhere useful. I'm going to install it to a virtual hard drive. Uh, you want to go full installation. There's nothing really to change. If you have the opportunity to use an external database engine, I probably would, but the internal one's pretty fine. You want to set an administration password. Make sure this is pretty strong because other HMail clients can connect to it, so make sure that's pretty strong. So you just want to wait for it to initialize the database engine, and then you'll get into the initial process of setting up your mail domain. First thing you want to do is you want to click Add Domain, and then if you're running this just on your internal network, I would recommend just typing in um, the IP address of the machine as the domain. Trust me, it sounds weird, but it works in practice. If you click the drop-down box Domains, and then the domain that you chose, which should be your IP address, then you can click Accounts, and here you can create unlimited number of accounts for your mail domain. Congratulations, you've now set up your very own mail server. In the next tutorial in this series, I'll show you how to install a web application called Squirrel Mail that will help your users access the mail server through a web interface to make it look a bit more cleaner.